What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're taking a look at a couple more Through Night flashlights, a flashlight brand we've seen on the channel before, most recently with the Archer 2AC. And I really enjoyed the Archer, but that's more of your full size flashlight, something you think about using around the house, or maybe if you carry a flashlight for work, you need the extra capacity, the extra output. That one is really great in those scenarios. These are gonna be more your daily carry flashlights, something you might throw in a pouch or a pocket organizer, or even your sling bag and carry on your person on a day-to-day -day basis. And so up top we have the Thrunai Archer Mini. This one is being powered by a 10400 battery. And then we have the Thrunai Archer Pro V2 on the bottom here. This one's being powered by a 14500 battery. And these are all part of the Archer family, the same as that 2AC. So you can see they have a very similar design overall. They're not identical. You can see, especially around the head here, a little bit of a different kind of milling pattern there, but both aluminum bodied and very similar style overall, including that 2AC that we looked at previously. Now, the major difference here is gonna be the output and the size, of course. So with that 10400, you have a lot smaller of a footprint here. This one is about 3.26 inches versus 3.85 inches for the Pro. And so about a half an inch in difference. We also have a difference in diameter with that battery being a little bit thicker. So on our Mini, we're looking at about half an inch in diameter, and that's pretty much exact. With the Pro, it's a hair over three quarters of an inch, so probably about 0.77 inches in diameter or so. So again, about a quarter inch in diameter difference. There's also a slight difference in pricing with the Mini coming in at about $17 if you purchase it on Amazon. And that's for the black version. There are a bunch of different colors available. So the other colors jump up about $2 to around $19. And then with the Pro, that one is $22. So about a $5 difference in that base model pricing. Didn't see a lot of the colors on Amazon, but they did have them on the Through Night website. Now, on the website, they're a little bit more than the Amazon pricing. So if you care about the color and you're going that route, you're gonna pay a few dollars more. They're still very budget friendly for the output that you're getting, no matter which one you end up going with. But I will link to that in the description of this video. Now, in terms of weight, we're looking at 1.19 ounces versus 2.29 ounces on the Pro. And the output I mentioned being different, the functionality is also quite different really like the functionality on this archer mini it's super simple easy to memorize single click gets you into your low mode the low mode is a nice lumen output at 18 lumens so a decent bit more than most of your moonlight modes and it's a nice output without being too dull 7.5 hour battery life on there and just simple, easy to get into right when you click. You wanna get into high mode, you just double click that and that will jump us into our high mode, which goes all the way up to 405 lumens. You can see my camera kind of adjusting and make the environment a lot darker there. That 405 lumens, and that's gonna last for just under three minutes. I think they said 2.8 minutes before stepping down to 157 lumens. So I'm pretty happy with that step down also significantly brighter than our low mode. And that lasts for another 52 minutes. So you're getting nearly an hour in that high mode. Now strobe warning, there is one more mode on here, which is your strobe. And you get that by triple clicking that button. And so that triple click will get us into our strobe and I'll only leave it there briefly. But again, skip ahead if you are sensitive to strobe. One, two, three, and there's our strobe mode. Really easy to get into as well. Single click turns it back off. There is a lockout mode by holding that button as well. Whole body here is aluminum, and again, they do have it in some other colors if black is in your speed. Two-way pocket clip there, so you can clip it to your hat as well, and it being nice and lightweight, this one will work great in that capacity. The button back here is plastic versus the rubber buttons that we see on some flashlights. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I do like the feel of a rubber button. Feels a little bit more responsive, but I think this will maybe be a little bit more durable. And if you've ever lost one of those rubber buttons, it's kind of annoying to operate without them. So maybe better in the long run with the plastic button, but I do prefer that feel of just a rubber button. Overall though, really great flashlight. Let's move over to our Pro. And so this one's gonna double our output. We have a much more, I guess, complicated, not super complicated, but a little bit more complicated operation in that the 
single click is going to take us into our memory mode. And so not sure exactly what Lumen this is because this has what they call their infinity mode. So once you turn it on, you can click and hold to start cycling. I just went down to the lowest mode, but if you let go and click again, it will start cycling upwards. And it kind of just remembers which direction you were cycling. So if you're cycling up last, when you click it again, it will start cycling down. If you let go and hold it again, it will go back into cycling up. And so this is really nice because you can get the exact output that you want and just leave it there. It remembers it the next time you turn it on. So if you're someone who doesn't go through the modes often, you are wanting the mode that you use most often to be the first one that comes up. It just works really well. You can also hold that to get into your Firefly mode is what they call it. This is only a half lumen, so not a lot of output there, but it does last for 15 days in there. Now in that cycle mode, that goes all the way down to about 13 lumens and all the way up to 430 lumens. Now the 430 lumens only last for about four minutes, so it will end up stepping back down to, I think about 190 lumens or so, but this one does offer a turbo mode. So both those modes were pretty similar to the output we're getting in the mini, but where it really steps up is the turbo mode with the 950 lumens on that double click. And this is significantly brighter as you can see, really feeling the heat coming off there as well. Only downside to this mode for me, last 70 seconds and then steps down to 190 lumens, which is the same as our high mode. And so the reason that's a downside is I always like the step down to be at least the equivalent to the high mode or around the high mode because you're going into your turbo mode because you need more output than high. And so I'd rather get more output on our step down with less runtime. Now 70 seconds at 950, which is again here, and then another 146 minutes. So that's a pretty long time. I would trade that for a higher step down with the shorter runtime, but that's just me. It comes down to preference for sure. This one also has a strobe mode, which is gonna be a little bit brighter. I didn't write down the strobe lumens, but again, strobe warning, same thing, triple click. Oh, I thought it was double click. There we go, triple click, and we'll get that strobe mode. I typically never use the strobe modes in these flashlights, but it is nice, I guess, that they have them. And again, really similar body style, so same overall look. We got that two-way pocket clip, the same plastic button on there. And I should mention, these are both USB-C rechargeable. They do include the USB-C cord. Kind of a cool way to access them as well. Instead of that little rubber dust cover that keeps them waterproof, this one is screw on. So if you unscrew that head on either of these, there's an O-ring in there and it will expose our USB-C charging port. And there's a light on the opposite side. You can see right here that changes, I think from red to blue, I think it was when I was charging these. And so, really easy to access them out of the way when you're not using them and you don't have to worry about those little cheap plastic gaskets that sometimes are really hard for me to get off for whatever reason but same thing on the mini just twist that off it'll pop right off you can plug it in and then when you're done with it you just screw it right back in so really great flashlights i think a really great price point as well and some of those colored versions do look really really good and so i'm kind of a sucker for that kind of stuff so i may pick up another of this mini especially in one of those other colorways i think great price point, great output. And I like the simple operation. It just kind of works for me. But would love to hear your thoughts on these ones down in the comments below. I will link to both in the description of this video. Huge shout out to Through Night again for sending these out for me to check out. But yeah, would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, or joining the channel as a member. All help the channel out a ton and hope you have a great one. Take care.